Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome to my little space online. Today I'm here to give you my thoughts about the Lomo Apparat, the latest addition to Lomography's lineup of novelty analog film cameras. So Lomography claims that your imagination never takes a day off with the Lomo Apparat as it lets you shoot fun, simple, and creative photos all day and all night. And I have to say, I agree. It's easy to use and has a unique, playful design that's sure to stand out at any party. I'd put it in the same category as other manual point-and-shoot film cameras with a quality that's a bit above that of a typical plastic reusable film camera, but still below premium point-and-shoots. As of February 2023, Lomo Apparat is being sold as $99 US or $129 Canadian on Lomography's online store. Now, depending on your budget and where you are in the world, that may not sound cheap, but it is still one of Lomography's more reasonably priced camera offerings. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Lomography in any way. I paid for this camera right out of my pocket because I thought it looked cute and I really wanted to have one in my collection. And I must say, I'm quite happy with this purchase. The Lomo Apparat has a 21mm wide-angle lens, an aperture of f10, and has a minimum focus distance of 05 meters. It has two shooting modes, N, probably standing for normal, where the camera will fire at a fixed shutter speed of 1 100th of a second, and B for bulb mode, where the camera will keep the shutter open as long as you keep pressing the shutter release button, which is perfect for nighttime long exposure shots. It also has a tripod mount, which I imagine would be very useful for keeping the camera steady for those long exposures. The camera has a built-in flash with gel attachment slots and a dedicated multiple exposure switch which makes it a great camera for experimenting with creative photography. And the accessories that come with the camera only add to the fun. The box includes a photo book containing inspiring photos all taken using the Lomo Apparat, a close-up lens attachment that lets you shoot as close as 0.2 meters, the Lomo Apparat Splitzer that lets you split your composition into a variety of divisions. Make sure to use it with the multiple exposure settings to properly compose your split shots. A kaleidoscope lens attachment that lets you compose photos with some trippy effects. I've sadly already lost mine. Flash gels that you can slot into the gel slider to tint your flash photos with a splash of color. I've also lost mine a lens cover, a metallic coil wrist strap that will annoyingly tug or pull out your body hair and possibly irritate your skin, and a pouch for all your accessories. To load the camera with film, here I'm using Lomo 800, open the film door by pushing down on this lock. Push the film rewind crank out and load your choice of 35mm film into the film chamber, like so. Turn the film advance wheel a little bit until you see this tab where you will hook one of the film sprocket holes into. Add some tension by turning the film advance wheel some more until you feel that the film has fully lodged on to the take-up spool. After which, you can then close the film door. Turn the film advance wheel a few times and fire to shutter until it says 1 on the film counter window. Once it says so, you are now ready to take your first photo. Oh, and make sure you turn the camera on to either normal or bulb mode while doing so. To take a photo, simply turn the camera on to either normal or bulb mode. Turn the film advance wheel until it stops. Then compose and take your shot by pressing on the shutter release button. To use the flash, load one AA battery into the battery chamber underneath the camera. You can use the camera without any batteries by the way, it's only needed to power the flash. 
The flash will load as soon as you turn the camera on, and once the flash indicator light turns green, the flash will be ready to fire on your next shot. If you don't want to use the flash, simply press on the indicator light again to turn the flash off. And once you're finished shooting a roll of film, turn the film rewind crank clockwise to rewind the film back into its canister. Once you don't get any more resistance from the film, and you can hear this as well, you can then safely take the film out of the camera for processing. Oh, only open the film door once the film has been fully rewound to avoid exposing it to light. Unless you want light leaks of course, but do it fast. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of the Lomo Apparat. It's lightweight, portable, and sturdier than the typical plastic reusable film cameras. The wide-angle lens allows you to capture more of your surroundings, which is great for when you're indoors without much room to move around. The camera has built-in creative functionalities that make it great for experimental photography. And one of the best times to experiment with photos is, of course, during parties. So I took this camera to a few parties this past holiday season. I first brought it to Choose Film's ICO launch party where they launched their very own reusable plastic film camera called the ICO. I got acquainted with the Choose Film founders through the Toronto Analog Friends group on Instagram and a lot of us came out to support them that night. I used a roll of Lomography Color Negative 800 to capture our shenanigans throughout the night. There's another member of the Toronto Analog Friends group, Andrew, who also brought his Lomo apparat and took amazing creative shots with it. Be sure to head over to his Instagram at instagram.com slash weekenderer, link in the description down below, if you want to see some other photos taken by a different person with the Lomo apparat. I also brought the Lomo apparat to my friend David's birthday party and the New Year's Eve party that we held at his place. Both times I used a roll of Reflex Lab 800T or the cheaper alternative to Cinestill 800T. As you can see from this sample image taken at Choose Film's ICO lunch party, the Lomo apparat has a unique character that makes it perfect for capturing the fun and excitement of parties. Using the kaleidoscope lens attachment, you can add some trippy effects to your party photos and make them even more memorable. With the built-in flash and gel attachment slider, you can add some splash of color to your flash photos and make them more interesting. And with the dedicated multiple exposure switch, you can get creative with your compositions and experiment with different multiple exposure techniques. However, as fun as this is, as with other cameras that have plastic lenses, the image quality from the Lomo apparat is not going to be the best out there. But depending on your taste, you might find its Lomo quality quite appealing. I mean, it's decently sharp in the middle, but it does have some noticeable distortion and vignetting on the corners. Honestly speaking though, it's good enough for me for what it is. Some other nitpicks I have with this camera is that the shutter button does not have a cable release thread, which could make keeping the camera steady during long exposures quite challenging. Attaching or detaching your accessories can be a bit loud, and sometimes it sounds like you're gonna break the camera. The viewfinder gets blocked when using the splitzer, making it hard to compose. And the film advance wheel and rewind crank can be uncomfortable to use. Seriously, my hands aren't even that soft, but these things dig into my flesh, which can really hurt a lot after continued use. Despite its drawbacks, I had a blast using the Lomo apparat. 
It pushed me to get out of my comfort zones and go wild with unconventional yet still creative compositions that I don't normally take. Now, do you need this camera to be able to do the things that I did with it? No, not really. You can probably do them with the camera that you already have. However, the features and accessories of the Lomo Apparat really make it easy for one to be more experimental, and that is something that I admire about its design. So, is the Lomo Apparat the best party camera? Well, it definitely has some unique features and creative functionalities that make it great for capturing the fun and excitement of parties. If you're looking for a film camera to bring to your next party, be sure to check it out. But of course, it can also function as a normal day-to-day -day camera for documentation if that is more of your thing. And that's my take on the Lomo Apparat. I hope this review was helpful. If you liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers.